Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to another mob battle on the channel. Yes, I know it's not Monday, that is due to my poor scheduling and stuff that is going on. But don't worry about it, we are doing it today instead. And today we have a, yet again, awesome battle lined up for us today. We have Cerebus from the Greek Fantasy mod. I love that mod, it is an amazing mod. Some of the mob bosses in that mod are just mind-blowingly epic. And then we have some mobs from the Forest Craft we also did a mod review on not too long ago. And yet again, the mobs from this are absolutely amazing, so I'm extremely excited to see how these will pair up and how the fight will go. So, let's waste no further time and get into it. Well, before we do that, make sure to subscribe and all that good stuff to the channel. You know the drill. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's make sure everything's off peaceful. Yeah, let's put it to hard. Okay, so we have Cerebus up in here with 120 HP. And uh, he's pretty mean. And now let's try the Night Walker. A little low level mob to start off with. But it should be alright. Okay, wow. Wow, okay. He's already causing some trouble for Cerebus. But it, it seemed like he sorted it out, to be fair. <laughs> it wasn't too much trouble. I don't... What 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 are you doing? And he spawned in a little friend as well, an Orthus, to help him out. Okay, let's get rid of that now. I, I, I think they're all fighting from the sounds of it. Uh, let's get rid of that. Let's get the healer stick. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Uh, are they uh, friends with no one? All right. So let's try the Terror Bringer next. Also 30 HP. So let's see how the Terror Bringer gets on with it. And the Terror Bringer is actually doing phenomenally well. Uh, considering is very fast and took down a lot more health than the original mob we tried at the Night Watcher. My word, Cerebus, you've really got to up your game, bro. You're not going to survive at this rate up against that some of these other mobs we've got coming because they're mad. All right, we are really going up the ante now, and we're going to go in with the Thunder Screamer and see how this guy does up against that. Okay, so Thunder Screaming, 60 HP, and is very, very deadly and is already fighting this guy. Um, I don't think Cerebus is going to be able to do this one. Purely because the Thunder Screamer, you know, aerial, you know, advantage. And he's flying away and he's just taking this guy out from the ground with, without any hassle at all. With those lightning bolts. Very, very deadly. And he's currently got the shield of electricity protecting him. So he's going to be absolutely fine. Cerebus is having a nightmare. He doesn't quite know what to do. He's trying to set this guy on fire. And it's just not happening. He's, he's dead, really. Oh, yeah, there you go. It is over. So that is one, two, the forest craft. Crazy. Okay, let's take this guy out now. And Wow, d d there was no need for that in the slightest. I <laughs> killed the poor Orthus. He, was, he thought he got away with that. He thought he was chill. He thought he was in the clear. No, no, the death of the Thunder Screamer killed him. Nice. All right, let's get on to some of the mob bosses now. We're going to have Dog v Dog with this one. So it's going to be the Alpha Insane Dog versus Cerebus. It's going to be sick. Okay, so they both, like, call in their mates to back them up. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, wow, the Alpha Insane Dog is injured, but Cerebus is having a nightmare. Okay, Cerebus has finally spawned in some mates to help him out. And it does look like the Alpha Insane Dog is probably doing more damage in overall. Wow. Okay. Uh, Alpha Insane Dog absolutely annihilated that without an issue, to be honest. Uh, that's slightly surprise surprising. Uh, I, I didn't see it going that way. Uh, wow, we're going to have to try you in the mob battle. So, <laughs> I don't think uh, Cerebus is going to be able to go up against the other mobs, but we're going to do it anyway, because yeah, we're here and why not? Alright, so let's do it. Let's get him up. And let's get in the Queen Bee next with 200 HP uh, going up against Cerebus. Who knows, maybe Cerebus will be able to handle it. It's not looking likely. <laughs> it's looking like the Queen Bee is going to absolutely destroy 
this mob. No hesitation. I should have swapped it the other way around and had like one of these mobs be the main mob and the Greek fantasy mod be the secondary. That's what I need to have, or should have done, but it's interesting and fun nevertheless. Okay, wow, dead. Uh, <laughs> Queen Bee, did you lose much? Okay, to be fair, did, 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 did go down a fair bit of health. Uh, at the end, we are going to spawn in a load of everything because you know how I like to do it. Okay, and that is the death animation for the Queen Bee. Alright, let's go with the final mob. We have Iguana King, which is hands down my favourite mob in the Forest Craft mod. It is just so cool looking. I, I, that, I, it just blows me away every time. Wow, d there was no need to destroy the arena though, bro. Okay, come on. Just these attacks are devastating. Cerebus is, is out of there. Iguana King, not even down half health. That is crazy. Look at this guy go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is pretty much spawn in the top ones that killed Cerebus and then a load of Cerebuses to even it out. And we're just going to see what happens, to be perfectly honest, because I think it's going to be interesting. So we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, we've got this, and... One, two, three, four, just to, you know, even it out. Uh, I don't know if Cerebus is going to go for these guys. Currently, these guys are all just fighting amongst themselves. They are very aggressive mobs. Uh, very, very aggressive. The forest craft really does not mess around at all. Okay, so let's set that. So I have brought in one Cerebus to help attack. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so currently Queen Bee and Iguana King are the only ones left standing. Uh, and of course, all of the Cerebuses. Uh, Alpha Insane Dog died, definitely. Okay, the, 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 this guy is very strong. He is a powerhouse. He's probably going to go through all of these guys, no problem. Uh, Queen Bee is just not really doing anything. Are these attacking? Oh no, the, the bees are going for one of the Cerebuses. Uh, okay, so that one's down. Iguana King has 100 HP left. Will he be able to take down the rest of the Cerebuses? Probably. Is it Cerebi? I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comment section down below how to actually pronounce plural for Cerebus. Uh, Cerebuses? Cerebi? Who knows? Who cares? <laughs> actually, no, too fair. I really want to know. Because uh, if someone find that out for me, that would be great. Iguana King has just powered through all of these. He's probably going to die. Queen Bee is on her way out as well. That that that, that looks like it's it for Iguana King. He's, he's going strong still. Wow. And the last surviving one is going to be the Queen Bee from the looks of things. Because my word, her little army of bees are devastating. She's kind of creepy as well, I'm not going to lie. An amazing looking mod, but creepy. Oh well, there we go. Well, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's mod battle. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any other suggestions for mod showcases or mod battles, let me know that as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.